smash the ever-living boo-boo stains out of that subscribe button so that we can get to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. And I just want to take a moment to thank you all so much for all of the support that you've been showing on the channel. It's funny because, you know, I was talking about how I dipped down from 729 to 727 subscribers and now I'm sitting at 734. So if you're subbing to the channel, if you're sharing the videos around, whether it's on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, uh, 4chan, I, I don't care, Reddit, <laughs> um, all jokes aside, thank you so much for all the support. It really does mean a lot. I'm exhausted today and I also really wanted to cover the market. So let's just dive on into this here. So Dimension Force boxes have gone up. They were at 61s. Now they're at 65s. People are buying them out because lo and behold, Therions are fucking broke. So, we, so we've got um, Regulus is here at 85. A Starlight Lenatus is at 217. Regular Lenatus is up to 28s. Uh, these were 25s a couple days ago. Everything is going to the moon. Uh, Boreas are up to 35s. These were at like, what, 14? These are at 14, 15 dollars. Therion Disc Coliseums are at 18s. Let, let's, let's look at boxes here. See, boxes were like pooping their pants for a while at like 61s, and now they're slowly going back up. You can get a box right now for basically 65, 65, 65. Uh, they're going on up to the $70 range, so you may want to get that. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. We got Visa, Starfrost, Sneak Peek, $16.97. Illegal Knights, honestly, at under 10 bucks, this is not bad. I got my play set for 10 bucks a piece. Um, shout out to my buddy's Derek, a different Derek than the one we normally shout out, and uh, my buddy Sean for hooking me up with those at 10s. These were 50s uh, on pre-sales uh, a few weeks ago. Um, so keep that in mind. You're looking at nine to ten dollars right now, and really, if you have a place set of these lying around, it's really not a terrible investment because number one, this thing's two thousand attack and defense, and it bounces two cards on a quick effect, and you can special summon it if you control an adventure token. So if for whatever reason Griffin Rider gets banned, or you want to play another card that you can search off the Faithful Adventure, Illegal Knight is a really good pick, and I'm not saying that to like boost up the price or anything. I genuinely think it's a good pick. Um, beyond the pendulums are twenties, frenzies are nines, which I pulled one out of my box. Psychic and Punisher also pulled. These are at eights. These aren't a bad pickup. They really aren't. Um, Starfrost secrets, which I pulled, are at sixes. Unfortunately, Trihearts are at twos, and Argeo Systems, which is a foolish burial for Therions, is about two to three bucks. Really not bad, but a lot of the stuff is going to the moon. Um, if I, if I were someone who wanted to play Therions, I would honestly just get a case of Dimension Force and just play the slots because at least with a case, you're guaranteed to get a Starlight and you're going to be making decent money unless you pull, uh, Coverture. So do with that info what you will. Next up, Ghost from Zetrash 2, my friend. Uh, did you know that Dark Arms are $64? Um, yeah, that's, that's really fantastic. Let's, let's take a look at these here. So we've got Dark Arm Ghost Rares. Near Min is $65 for a fucking Dark Arm. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. Like, yeah, it's not secret or ulti, and ultis you're looking at over 300 but to have a beautiful-looking Ghost Rare at $65, especially, like, if you want to play, like, Teledad format or anything that plays Dark Arm, and, like, something like Dark Arm, I would make the argument could come back into the format at, like, any time, any deck that can just dump three darks into the graveyard at one time like yeah you gotta open with it or draw into it but at the same time like it's it's just worth it plus it's such an iconic card you know i, I really wouldn't be upset about getting a play set at 65 a piece keep in mind for like perspective the astral language leviathan dragon is at about 65 to 70 dollars right now and i would rather get a dark arm than an astral language leviathan because something like dark arm is just gonna go up over time. It may take a while, but it's it's going to. Ball sacks. Uh, ball sacks are 55. These are cheaper than dark arms. What the fuck? 55s, and then you slowly creep up to 60. You can get a testicle for $55. That That's not bad. So what? That's 155 or so, 200 for a play set? That's not terrible. That's really not. Get your ball sacks while you can. And of course, Dark Magician Girls and Blue Eyes are holding the line. Alubar is at 12s. Well, damn, I'm pissed because I just bought two copies at like 15 apiece. They're like $14.99 or some shit. 
$14.95, whatever. Also, special deck profile with this coming along. Um, the, the deck list is already out there on YouTube, but we're playing uh, 60 cards, with two copies of this and three Brain Diffusion. It's... It's good. And it also plays three Demise of the Land, Set Rotation Metaverse, and three Mystic Mind. Yeah, we're, we're having the cheesiness of the cheese, boys. Next up is a change of hot. So let's look at the secret rares first. Look, look at this jump. It's like, it just jumps up. Like, what the fuck? 73 and 111. Heavy play is 55 for first edition. Eat my ass. Light play is 65 for unlim. Oh, Jesus. Hit me with that first ed. Light play first dead seventy nine, near mint first edition gem. G give me that. Give me that gem mint. Near mint first one ten, or one oh nine. Yeah, one one ten. Fuck that. I'm sorry, but if you're paying a hundred and ten dollars for a secret rare Yugi's World change of heart, you need to go touch grass. I don't know who changed out the picture on this, but it was fine the way it was before. Y'all y'all need to y'all need to fix your shit. Apparently, it takes control of one opposing monster. So if you're in a in a multi duel multiple people you can just take any of them i guess damage unlimb for 13 don't buy that someone chewed on it sat on it and farted on it uh near mints are 41 for unlimb oh god first editions <laughs> 445 dollars we go all the way up to 500 and we crack out at 903 dollars and 50 cent for a for a beckett graded not even a not even a psa oh excuse me no we cap out at 1200 dollars. lord have mercy Ain't nobody going to pay for that shit, by the way. Overall, we're looking at 24 Ultras. Do wow, dollars. Those are probably chewed up on dollars. Look at these market prices. I mean, look at the market prices. You're looking at lowest is Starter Deck Pegasus, which is really weird considering it's Magic Card. Uh, unlimited market price looks like capped out at 685 and 775 Someone bought a Damage First for 235 Get the fuck out of here. Someone bought... Three light plays at three dollars. That's that's really not bad actually. Light plays lowest available is three dollars. Then you yeah fuck that feedback. Get it from Oblivion Games Tampa. So you're you're looking at basically four dollars or three thirty nine here if you want to get your play set. That's really not terrible for a Magic card common change of heart. That's not bad and this would be something good to hold on to as well. Especially if you want to go down the first edition route and pay a few bucks more because these could just go to the moon on over time. Uh, we looked at that. I also want to look at scapegoats. So retro pack one ultra rare. There's only one on the market, and it's 700 from mod play. Yeah, you can eat my ass. We're not paying that shit. Um, ultis are surprisingly low. Look at this dip. So you start off at 80 from like what three months ago? Actually, yeah, three months ago on the dot it was 80. Then we're tanking down to 74, 73. Then we just shoot up to 81. Right now you can get a mod play for about 75. Near mint unlim is 88. $88 for one ulti or a scapegoat. That's really not bad. Now, if you want my humble opinion, what I think looks the best besides Ultra, I think Ultra is, I don't know, for whatever reason to me, it just looks the best on scapegoat. But the second best is Starter Deck Joey, in my opinion. Uh, you also have the OTS Tournament Pack 5 Commons that are easy to get. But Super Rares from Starter Deck Joey are really cheap. Like, mega cheap. Damage unlim for quarters, nah. Near Mint unlim is $1.25. First edition is about four bucks. And really, the picture doesn't do it justice. Like, the super rare scapegoats look mad nice. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to hype up this card. I'm just saying it looks really freaking nice. You are not getting a bad scapegoat if you get the super rare. And it also has, says magic card, which is always just funny to have in 2022 Yu Gi Oh! Uh, next up, Albaz Strike. So, these are holding the line at 12s still. Branded fusions are twos. Extraves are twos. Dark rollers are dollars. Dollars. Penny is like, eh, it's a dollar. 50 cents. Like, this is penny stonk. You get so many good things in this fucking structure deck. So many good things, my guy. This is, I would say that this is the best structure deck of all time, next to uh, Salad. Also, uh, let's, let's pull up a uh, Salamangri. Because having a salad is always great. Have I mentioned how much I fucking hate this deck? Like, I just, I genuinely hate this deck with a fucking passion. Uh, Balinxes are sixes. Circles are threes. Pyrophoenix are twos. <laughs> the Starlights are $80. Spinnies, threes. Uh, Foxies, four. Roars are dollars. 
Uh, even this shit's putting me to sleep. Lord have mercy. The Salaman Great Sunlight Wolves are pennies. I mean, this is this is cheap. The fact that gazelles aren't even cracking this just goes to show how cheap the deck is. And I mean, if you kept your Ash Blossoms for... Yeah, see, pennies on the dollar. If you kept your Ash Blossoms from the structure deck too, I mean, that's just... That is value. That is massive value. But I really hate this deck. Like, I, I could be playing a deck that is aimed to beat Salad and I would still lose to fucking Salad. I don't know what it is. Next up, for our last bit here, I want to look in here on skill drains these are these are tanking you're looking at 21 dollars for near mint skill drain out of the hidden arsenal very quickly here let's let's take a look at what this is at skill dwayne's skill dwayne all uh, turbo pack ultra rare is 40 dollars uh is lost art here lost art's tanked he's really tanked you're looking at 38 for near mint Forty dollars. These were at seventies. Guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below about the market. Is the market going to the moon? Is it being a bucket of shit? And can salad please not be a good deck? Guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.